Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making gluten-free pumpkin muffins. So I have a bunch of stuff here. We're gonna do our wet ingredients first, then our dry, and we'll go from there. So first I have maple sugar. I do like to use maple sugar versus granulated sugar or brown sugar, etc., because it does contribute a maple flavor and it also comes from maple syrup so it has nutrients like iron and selenium and magnesium as well. You can swap it out for another sugar though if you prefer. I'm going to add in some vegetable oil. Kind of whisk this together carefully here at the same time. Get everything melded together nicely. In goes two eggs that were beaten. So now some vanilla and we have some pumpkin puree which of course we need for our delicious pumpkin muffins and then we're going to add in a little bit of water just to thin out the batter a little bit. We want our pumpkin muffins to be nice and fluffy. I'm gonna move this to the side for a minute. And in our other bowl, we put our gluten-free all-purpose flour. If you don't want to make them gluten-free, you can use whole wheat pastry flour or regular all-purpose flour. We're putting some baking soda and baking powder in there. And then, of course, our combo of spices and seasonings. So in here, we have kosher salt, ground ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, and allspice. So it's essentially a pumpkin pie spice mix. And that's gonna add a beautiful flavor. Mm, I can already smell it. it, smells like pumpkin pie. Now, we're gonna put the dry ingredients into the wet. And then we don't wanna over mix it, so we're really just gonna kind of fold everything together. Sometimes if you over mix muffins or quick breads, it can toughen up the batter. So we really wanna do it in more of a folding manner. We're almost there. Just wanna make sure everything's incorporated in here nicely. And as we kind of fold through the bottom and come up through the middle, it will mix in that dry with the wet without kind of agitating the whole batter. This should make anywhere from 12 to 14 muffins. I'm actually gonna use a measuring cup just to, for ease of transfer. And you really do wanna fill these up, you know, about two thirds of the way full. So I have the oven set at 350 degrees. It should take about 20 minutes for these to cook and we'll check them. You just wanna stick a toothpick in there and it comes out clean, they're done. So into the oven for 20 minutes and we'll see you when they're ready. Okay, let's get our gluten-free pumpkin muffins out of the oven. Beautiful. All right, so we really want them to cool um, before we eat them. So we can take them out of here and put them on a cooling rack or they can cool right in here as well. There you go. Once again, I'm Abby, my gluten-free pumpkin muffins. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.